This week we're having a roaring good time with the Lion King at Disney's Animal Kingdom. And then we're making a big splash with Jurassic World The Ride at Universal Studios Hollywood. Plus the latest theme park news and more coming at you from the attraction studio at Give Kids the World Village right, right now. Welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Elisa. And I'm Quinn. And right. we have some big yes, news. Yes, I was excited too. We have a too. ton Go of MCU movies that have been announced and TV shows on Disney+. Plus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Comic-Con. Yeah, Canada. really. <laughs> Which, what are you most excited I'm about? I'm most excited about Thor Love and Thunder. Yes. I'm Lady Thor. Natalie Portman? Oh I my know. god. I'm so happy she's going to be back in the Marvel Universe and like starring her. Yeah, what about you? I am excited about WandaVision. I, I love the two of them together and I think it'll be really cool. I love that they're doing a lot of TV shows for the... I, I like that cool. they, they said that that's really going to um, intermesh with the story of the Doctor Strange uh, I can't remember what it's called, Multiverse something. Nice. It's like a horror movie. That's going to be really cool as well. So many things to look forward to. Mm -hmm. well, we'll be right back after a message from our sponsors. Free dining plans are back for Walt Disney World. Get yours by planning with Mouse Fan Travel. To get a free quote with no obligation, head to mousefantravel.com. Going, going, and almost gone. Don't miss out on getting a universal two-day park-to-park ticket with Volcano Bay, plus three extra days from Undercover Tourist. For more information, visit undercovertourist.com. This news in the queue starts with some spooky news for Mickey's not-so-scary Halloween party at Magic Kingdom. A new Tomorrowland-themed unit will be added to this year's parade, as well as the Spectral Haunted Mansion Bride. The new Tomorrowland unit will feature Mr. and Mrs. Incredible, Edna Mode, and Buzz Lightyear on a new planet-themed playset. You'll be able to catch the parade twice nightly during this year's Halloween parties, along with the new fireworks show we previously told you about on select dates starting August 16th. This party's really looking uh, to shape up pretty well. A lot of new stuff. I'm so excited. This is definitely like the one event that like Jonathan and I like really look forward to going to every year. So the, more the than horror thing. nights. Um, I love horror <laughs> nights too. I would say probably right on par. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Speaking of, actually, this is just uh, more not so scary news. A <laughs> Descendants themed dance party is also on the horizon this year. The dance party will take over the stage at Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe as an added feature for the party. Guests can enjoy the same dance party free this summer on the Marketplace stage at Disney Springs from July 26th through August 11th. Gotta love a gotta love a dance party. Mm -hmm. And it's Descendants, <laughs> which is nice. Exactly, something different, something new, something fun and free to do at Disney Springs. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> now Kylo Ren is packing up his cape and helmet and heading for Batu because on August 29th, the opening day for Star Wars: Galaxy's Edge at Disney's Hollywood Studios, he will be leaving his meet and greet at Star Wars Launch Bay. And will be replaced by none other than his beloved grandfather, Darth Vader. Vader used to occupy the very spot where Kylo now meets back when Launch Bay first opened to guests. And now he's taking back his rightful place. Once Galaxy's Edge is open, Kylo will be found roaming the streets of Black Spire Outpost looking for resistance spies. This makes me really happy. I'm glad there is a way to meet Darth Vader again besides, um, you know, the uh, Jedi Training Academy show. Right, and it makes sense since Kylo will be in Batu, mm -hmm. so it's all coming together. We're almost there. Definitely. Yes. Now coming in as the biggest news of the past week, Ghostbusters was officially announced as a house for this year's Halloween Horror Nights at both Universal Orlando and Universal Studios Hollywood. This year marks the film's 35th anniversary, and what better way to celebrate than with the haunted house inspired by the 1984 film? The maze will take fans through locations from the film, including the famous Firehouse, New York Public Library, and the Temple of Gozer, all while an army of ghouls make themselves known. Be sure to check it out when Halloween Horror Nights kicks off on September 6th in Orlando and September 13th in Hollywood. Hollywood. So excited. Oh my god. I'm so <laughs> excited. I, I, I always love a good house that's n necessarily not filled with blood and gore. I think this will be a really cool, fun, maybe. I'm sure there will be a plenty of um, slime and uh, yeah. spectral ooze <laughs> around instead of gore. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> 
head to a galaxy far, far away with our commemorative summer 2019 issue of Attractions Magazine. It's finally open. We take a look inside Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and show you all around this immersive new land. Talk to a few of the Disney cast members and Imagineers behind the creation and even look at the Star Wars land that never was. Plus the latest news, rumors, and more packed into every issue. Get your copy and subscribe today at attractionsmagazine.com in print or digital in our app on Nook and Kindle. There are plenty of ways to show off your wild side at Disney's Animal Kingdom, and our reporter Banks is there to see all the Lion King fun the park has to offer. Hakuna Matata, Banks. It means no worries. An endless flight of passage fast passes, right? Almost. We are here at Disney's Animal Kingdom getting ready to celebrate the release of The Lion King. Of course, the animated classic is 25 years old. The new reimagined Lion King just released in the theaters this summer. So Animal Kingdom is celebrating with some activities and snacks and various things happening around the park. We're going to show you it all. The Lion King released on July 19th, and for the week following until July 25th, Disney made a pledge that every rider who rode Kilimanjaro safaris during that week, they would donate $2 to the Lion Recovery Fund. Now, if you don't know, the lion population has actually decreased by half since the original movie came out in 1994. So this is a great way for Disney to give back and for guests to give back as well by having fun. Part of the Lion King celebrations here at Animal Kingdom, they have a brand new scavenger hunt. So think of like the scavenger hunts you'd see during the festivals at Epcot around World Showcase. You're gonna come here into Harambe and you're gonna pick up a map and you're gonna walk around. There's gonna be characters hidden throughout Harambe. You're gonna find, identify, bring the map back for a special little prize. So there is a lot of merchandise available here at Disney's Animal Kingdom as part of this Lion King celebration this summer. Two of them are right here. These are limited edition plushes that were made of Simba and Nala. Only 40,000 were made. And if you buy one, they are gonna donate $5 to that Lion Recovery Fund I talked about earlier. So when you visit Animal Kingdom, there's lots of great ways to give back. All right, so we're getting ready to board the train over to Conservation Station and Rafiki's Planet Watch. Recently reopened after a lengthy downtime, they've added the animation experience. We're going to go learn how to draw one of the characters from The Lion King. All right, so here we are inside of Rafiki's Planet Watch at the new animation experience. So when you come in, they're going to give you a piece of paper and a pencil. You sit down, you have this pad here you use to draw. Now, as you can see, it's different from the old Animation Academy at Hollywood Studios. They already have some of the guidelines for the character you're going to draw on the paper. So it kind of cuts down the time it takes to draw the character. So we just get started. For the Lion King celebration, you pick up one of these. This is your guide to all the offerings that are going to be available here at the park this summer. And of course, back here they have some treats. We're going to go find this ice cream cone because that looks delicious. Thank you so much. Look at this. So this is the uh, uh, Bugs and Grub uh, ice cream here. So it's soft serve chocolate, cookie crumbs, gummy worms, and a chocolate bug up here. It looks uh, looks slimy yet satisfying. Just taking a look at a uh, VR experience that's going to be coming to this Harambe at Night event very soon. That, that was so cool. Like, you're right there on the Kopi in Kilimanjaro Safaris with those three lions. How did you go about shooting something like that? That was great. That was a really fun project for everybody involved. We had to network with 
uh, the IT people and facilities and engineering and the keepers just to build something that we could put in there that the lions would, you know, not destroy. So we, uh, we had people coming in, we tried a different kinds of different holders and things like that. And what we wound up doing is actually putting a camera inside their environments at their level. Lions are very curious by nature, so they just would go up to it and they would sniff it and they would walk past it. So one of the girls would ignore it, one of them would try to, you know, get it out of the ground. And it was like a contest between the, the, the you know, IT techs and the lions of, you know, who is going to get this. But ultimately, we got some great footage, and if you just look at it, you are immersed with these lions. And it's just, it was really, it was really powerful to watch it for me, and I see them a lot. So, I mean, hearing them and seeing them that close, it was just amazing. It's a really, really great experience. Whew. As you can see, we've had a lot of fun today, having some food, dancing, seeing lots of animals. The Lion King is in theaters right now, and you can enjoy your day here at Animal Kingdom while also protecting the pride. I think what I love most about travel is the perspective that it gives me. It's just getting a chance to see other parts of the world and other types of people and other lifestyles. I like to say it's the difference between information and expertise. Anybody can do an, an internet search and come up with lots of information. Having somebody that has been there and done that and probably bought the t-shirt and really can speak to it with authority is the big difference. MEI and Mouse Fan Travel is your expert source for no-fee travel planning. Visit mei-travel.com for a no-obligation quote today. Skip the lines with undercover tourists, crowd calendars, touring plans, and mobile apps. Stop paying full price for your family vacation and visit Undercover Tours today. Animals long extinct are loose again at Universal Studios Hollywood now that Jurassic World The Ride is open. Our reporter Jeff was brave enough to head out and come face to face with these fearsome dinos at the grand opening. Let's hope he doesn't become dino chow in the process. Over to you, Jeff. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. yeah so, oh, okay, okay, come on. Yeah. Come on now. Keep oh. that thing under wraps. about this is that you really do feel like you're a part of the movie and so going through the ride it's like oh okay the first part of it you're like oh my gosh it's like I'm in Jurassic World and then uh oh there's an emergency because that tends to happen in Jurassic World and then there's a big drop you know you wait in line and there's a great narrative that we shot so like all these like funny kind of video pieces then you get on the ride uh, you got all the animatron like similar animatronics as the original ride and then uh, you know it gets dangerous, and once it goes dark and it's dangerous, it's actually it's actually pretty freaky. And then the drop at the end will actually like really smoke you. You'll get super wet, and, and it's it's a great ride. You know, in the, I am a fan, uh, in my heart, and I think that one of the, the the best things about fandom is to be able to to pass your fandom on to your children and to share the things that you love with your children. And that's something that I've gotten to do personally and it's something that if you come to this ride, uh, even if you're like me, you're old school and you grew up on Jurassic Park, you can take your kids and, and take them to this and, and have that experience and share that memory with them, which I think is pretty cool.
We have assets out of containment and help is on the way. Listen to me. Do not panic. If you can see me, I need you to keep your hands inside the boat. The slightest movement will set these animals off. Magazine and Jurassic World The Ride is now open at Universal Studios Hollywood. It is so much fun. I am a huge fan of the Jurassic franchise. I love the original Jurassic Park The Ride and I equally love Jurassic World The Ride. Fantastic updates. You've got to check it out on your next visit to Universal Studios Hollywood. Welcome to Jurassic World. <laughs> downloaded our free Attractions Magazine app? It features news articles, as well as every issue of our magazine, available right in the app. Plus, catch up on all episodes of the show, and even view all of our online videos in one place. Download the app for free in the App Store today. This week's birthday shoutouts go out to Diana Phillips, Bob Buchanan, Elliot Hansen, and our very own Early Night Live host, Ava Toomey. Happy birthday, everybody! Now, the D23 Expo 2019 is just a month away. To stay in the know on all the exciting announcements from this year's panels, be sure to follow us on social media. You can follow us at Attractions on Twitter, at Attractions Magazine on Instagram, like us on Facebook.com slash Attractions Magazine, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for in-depth D23 coverage, be sure to check out our website at AttractionsMagazine.com. Now we want to thank MEI, Mouse Fan, and Universal Fan Travel, our preferred travel agent. For a free quote with no obligation, visit MEITravel.com. And thanks to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando and California attractions. For more information, visit UndercoverTourist.com. Give Kids the World Village is a non-profit resort that provides week-long, cost-free vacations to children with life-threatening illnesses and their families. To learn more about how to get involved, visit gktw.org. All right, so we've got some exciting things coming up. Brittany is heading over to Las Vegas, Viva Las mm -hmm. Vegas. Going to see some cool exhibits out there. Yeah, uh, Hunger Games and Marvel stuff, I believe. So cool. We love those things. I want to go to Vegas one day. I still haven't been. I went once, but I was kind of young, so I couldn't like, go gamble back. or anything. Wait or... till you're 21. Yeah, then you go. yeah, yeah, exactly. There you go. I will go back Follow then. us on socials for all those awesome things for Brittany's Vegas trip. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you'll tune in again next week. Till then, visit your local attractions, try something new, stay safe, but most of all, have, have fun! fun. for the week afterwards until July 25th, 25th, 25th.